Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. Now, these are tiny little 42ml jars that I had them off eBay, uh, not eBay at all, Amazon last year, and I did um, a couple of different projects with them, and I kept some of the jars. I, they're very easy to find on Amazon. I will try and find you a link and put it in my blog post. And when, when the new year came around, I started thinking about Easter projects. I wanted to do a Mother's Day and what have you. And I started talking with somebody about wedding stuff. Now, I don't really do wedding themed activities on here as, as such. And I don't really go with baby themes. Um, I think perhaps because most of my friends are, are have already got married and have already got their babies. And so I haven't been invited to a wedding in donkey's years. Although technically my nephew has just, his fiance has just had a baby. So, you know, it is in my lifetime, uh, my, my coming up in my life soon, but I don't really think about it. And I stopped and thought and thought, what would I gift at a baby shower or a wedding shower? And I decided I was going to bring out these jars again. So I went hunting on Amazon to see what goodies I could find. And I found these and these are, well, they're called Oh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that because um, anybody Italian will probably beat me around the head. But inside here are dragets in a variety of colours. And you would buy them for your wedding, perhaps, in your colour theme. And I decided I would go with the mixed pack. And, you know, meaning I could do lots of different things. Um, no, I'm not going to be gifting these away to anybody other than my children. So I'm quite happily touching these with my fingers. Um, apart from anything they have. So there's loads of different ones in there. And yeah, you can pick up all sorts. Of, I mean, Amazon is remarkable for things like that. So I decided I would pull out six of the, or five of the colours and see what I could do. So maybe a bridal shower, maybe a wedding shower, something like that. And they're, they're super easy and super cute. And the jars are brilliant. Like I say, they are, they're basically mini jam jars. They're like the ones you'd get in a nice little boutique hotel. Very cute. So all we're gonna do really is decorate the lid. And you need, your two colours that are inside, now I haven't got the pink that perfectly matches that, but it's close enough to go with pink pirouette and some white and then some silver glimmer paper and then you just need a variety of punches. So we are starting with the glimmer paper with a one and a half inch circle. Then we're going to go with a one and a quarter inch scallop circle and that's your coloured layer. So this one I've obviously got pink. In this case I've got green and yellow. I just, you know, I thought, well, I'll go with yellow. But that's your coloured layer. And then with the white one, my flower actually is removed. It does come out. So you punch your flower first. This is my itty bitty accents. You could possibly do this with the bitty butterfly. Hang on to that. Come in with your one inch circle and go round the hole. And we're going to start putting it all together. So, adhesive on the back of this. You really only need it round the edges for these particular jar lids because they are slightly depressed. Um, but stick that on. We're going to start elevating stuff now. So with your, with your circle that's got the flower cut out, you need little bits of... Um, dimensional I've lost my little paper snips there you need bits of dimensional you don't need a whole one you sort of need just little chunks so I come along the edge and just grab a couple of those oh <laughs> that I can't get hold of today and just sort of fit them into those little recesses that you've got round the edge of the punch out oh I've <laughs> It's going to play silly what's it's today, isn't it? Let's try that again. So that is literally just a, a little chunk of dimensional. Peel off the backing. I have my nails done yesterday and I think I've had them trimmed a little bit too low. I can't pick up anything at the moment. Just a, just a smidge too low. Or maybe I got too used to them being too long. Okay, so that will lift up this little guy here. Stick him on your on your spongy mat, back of your paper piercer, and into the middle and push down hard because we want it right up high. And I've lost my pearls. And where have the pearls gone? Oh, they're waiting for a different project. Little one in the middle there. Turn it over and grab 
to clear some space. Mini glue dot into the back of that and put it back inside your flower. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then just bring up the petals again. So it looks like it's just kind of popping out. And then um, some adhesive on the back. Look, I've just squashed that flower now. <laughs> I'll have to lift it up again. Into the top. Yeah, let's get those petals back up again. And then just grab a couple of ribbons. So I need a Whisper White. And here it is. Well, this one's Blushing Bride, but, you know, again, we won't worry too much that it doesn't perfectly match. So grab two of them at the same time. And I'm going around the neck. It does recess in slightly. Okay. Why am I doing this wrong today? Right over. I can't do this bow today. My fingers all feel weird. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's going to go right. It's probably not going to go right. Tie off your bow. This is going to be an upside down bow, isn't it? Yes, totally all over the place. Um, but neaten up your, your bow and ends and what have you. Trim off. Look at that, it is all over the place. <laughs> and then separate the bow loops a little bit. Definitely nails too short. There we go. And that, when it's all neatened out and made to look pretty, is a really cute, quick, easy favour. And these are not expensive, these jars at all. I don't know if I've got any spare empty jars anywhere. No, I'm just looking at my room. I think I used them all up on other projects, but um, and these are my last three. But they really weren't expensive at all. Amazon, great place for jars and bottles and stuff like that. And we do like a good treat, sweet gift, anything like that. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me, and I hope to speak to you very soon.